I'm going to do a quick video on how to import your canvases and get them all lined up and scaled up for you. Uh, so first thing, you're going to want to come up here and check your settings. Make sure you're in millimeters, if that's what you're going to use, uh, which that's what I'm using. Uh, if you want to change it, click your notepad, come over here to the right, and here's where you can change your units to centimeter, meter, inch, or foot. I'm using millimeter, so we're good to go there. Next thing I do, turn off the origin or turn on the origin, so that you can line your drawing up. And I'll go to the right side here. Okay, so now you're ready to insert a canvas. So how do we do that? We hit Insert up here in the menu. We hit Canvas. Now this is your Insert Canvas dialog box. Mine are on my computer, and here they are. They're in my Jet Blueprint folder. So I'm going to start with the side view and hit open and then it's going to give me this dialog box here and I'm going to select the right face because that's the plane of symmetry and that's the side view. And then I just kind of bring it, I'll bring it here and I'll move the, the plane into, because I'm eventually going to line the nose up on the origin. So I'll leave it right there. I like that actually right there so now how do we scale it right so we have to make sure that this overall length is correct so we're doing a 1 30th scale here which is the one I'm actually doing and so what you would do is you take the overall length which the a350 900 is 66.8 meters long <clears throat> so if you convert that to millimeters that's 66,800 millimeters and then you would do that number 66,800 divided by 30 and that will give you 2266 so that's how your scale is going to be 2266 millimeters long so how do we do that we open this we highlight the canvas we right click the actual canvas and we hit calibrate so we're going to come in here as close as you can you can zoom in if you need to we'll put a point there on the front and then go to the back and put a point on the back. Now this number in blue here is how long that distance is. So now what we're going to do there is we're going to put in 2266 and hit enter. And now you're scaled. So now we're going to have to pull this out. And here's how we can prove to you that it's scaled. So now uh, we can do a little, ha well, actually, no, let's uh, get it to on this origin so how do we do that you're going to come up highlight the canvas again right click and hit edit canvas and we're going to put that nose right on that right on that and we can see that it's really very close um, i like to try and get it i make it a little bigger and then i really try to get it accurate because this is where all of your drawing is going to be done from so that looks about good so now you've got your drawing situated you've got it imported now you have and you've got it scaled and now you want to verify if you don't believe it so there's a little hack you can do which I do I just create a box I create it on this plane and then I just do this and I go to the back end and this will tell you 2.7 so you're just about perfect right there 2.68 or 2268 you're right in the ballpark uh, so you know you scaled it right now if you want to do let's say your top view hit insert canvas remember this is your dialog box go to my computer grab the top view hit open now it's going to ask you what face again. Obviously, it's going to be the bottom because it's a top view. So you're going to want the bottom plane. Same thing here. You've got to scale it out so you can see it. Now, if it's turned like this, that's not a problem. Uh, what you can do is just grab this handle and turn it. Hit OK. And now we'll move this here. Actually, let's move our canvas. So to move the canvas, you just right click and hit edit canvas. And now you can 
sort of give it, because it's going to be bigger, so you're going to put it right in there. So now, how do we scale this? Now, you could use the overall length again, or you could use the wingspan. Uh, I'm going to use the wingspan. Let's try the wingspan and see if that works. Um, so, the overall wingspan is 64.75 meters. Uh, that's converted into millimeters is 64,750. And when we divide that by 30, we get 2158. So what we want to do here is calibrate this. We're going to do that same thing. We're going to calibrate. We're going to put it our, our dot on one of the wingtips. And then we're going to come all the way across to the other wingtip. And there you are. Now you put in 2158. 2158. Hit enter. And now you've got it scaled up. Hopefully. Obviously, you're not on the origin. So come up here. Right click. Edit canvas. Bring this back here. You want this to be as close as you can get, and then hit OK, and then let's see here. So now it's looking, you can kind of see the tail, it looks a little bit small actually. Although, not terrible. Not terrible at all. If it's off at all, you could go back up here, and we could make this bigger. And what you could do is, and we're going to do this now, is you could recalibrate it. So you would highlight it, right click, calibrate. Now you know the overall length, so you could do that too. You could start there if you think that it's off. And then you just go back to a point right about there. And then put in the overall length, which is 2266. And now you're, it did make it a little bit bigger. So let's right click, edit canvas, and let's move this back and see if that creates a better. So right there, it looks about perfect. And you can kind of see we're right in the middle of the tail. It looks about perfect. So let's see now. Now we're perfect. So now you can kind of see everything's lined up. The back lines up real close. Um, and if you want to measure your wingspan to see what that comes out to, again, I'm just going to create a box. We'll go right here. Oops, hold the phone. Create a box and go right there. I don't know why that's doing that. That's strange. Okay. Let's see if we could use the measure tool here. It's not working either. Okay, well, I mean, you can see this is really close. It looks really good from the top. It looks good from the side. And we could actually, um, we could put our front view in because that's easy. Remember, insert, canvas, go to your computer, get the front view, open it up. It's going to ask what plane. You're going to put it there. You're going to do this. Now, I don't know why my wingspans come off a little bit, but if you do that, right, if you go right in here, you can actually line this thing up with this box, like right there. Hit OK. <clears throat> now we're going to, I mean, I don't even know that we need to calibrate it because I'm going to see if I can just move this into position. So we're going to edit canvas. You want this to be here because that's about where you put the nose, right? It's going right down the middle of the... So let's go here. And then you could see this is really good. So let's hit OK. And then you just want to check from all views to make sure that this makes sense from the front. And then when you go from the back, you can kind of see the wingtips perfectly there. And it looks pretty good. Um, 
you want to make sure this is close so you you can kind of get it from there and you can see the nose with where they meet up right here um, it really looks pretty good so I would leave that there I'm calibrated I'm in I'm ready to make any edits I want to make now now I would just save it as a new project a350 and that's it so uh, that's all there is to it putting your canvases in and calibrating them that's how you you're going to go through that process for any blueprints you use uh, so thanks for watching and stay tuned uh, for more build videos